All right, welcome back, guys, to Roadworthy Revivals. Ooh. Today we're back at the old nudist colony, and we're gonna get this <laughs> 1972 Impala out of this barn. It's been here for about 22 years. This car, I'm told, has 20,000 original miles on it. Kilometers, I think. Is it in kilometers? I, I'm pretty sure it's kilometers. We'll have to find out when we get in there. Yeah. So, it's kind of hung up on this other door. I don't know how much of the roof this door is holding up. I'm, I'm kind of scared to pull it out of here. Uh, but yeah. maybe I'll get my pry bar in there and just see if we can get it open. Looks pretty tight. It is moving a little. Oh, oh my goodness. There's, there's sort of a join in this yeah. beam right here. Yeah. Like one here and one over here. So it's kind of a... Very sketchy. Yeah. So good here. Oh, baby. We're in. Oh. That'll work. Now. Here we go. We can finally see the uh, passenger side of the car here a little bit. She's definitely, she's sunk down in the ground here quite a ways too. Yeah. Rockers are off the ground, which is good. Impala Custom, it says on it. I really wish we had the keys. That's too bad. I, hope, I thought they were in the ignition, but apparently they're not. So I don't know if we want to work on this thing at all, where it is, or just try and yard it out of here. Start digging like we did last time and air up the tires, maybe. That would be a good start, maybe. This beam is right up against the door, so I can't even really crawl in there very well. So yeah, I guess we'll start with some digging and get some wind in these tires. All right, well, it actually feels like this tire's got some air in it here already. Definitely low. Got the uh, original poverty caps on here. Got some weird grunge all over them. Hopefully they'll clean up. Well, you guys sent Larry back to his house for a tripod because I forgot mine. And look yeah. what he comes back with. The keys. It says seven, oh, it's a 70 Impala. No, no, no that's just... A 70s. Guess. Okay. Yeah, because I thought it looked like a 72. We, yeah, we weren't sure. It was yeah. just a guess. You know, I think a it's guess. a 72 Impala. guys yeah excuse the mosquito in the background but I'll just want to while I got her on the jack here I want to show you underneath she really doesn't look too bad under here other than a little surface rust from sitting and there's a dent in the tarp there where the rear end was sitting right on the ground and you know but she definitely wasn't as deep in the ground as that New Yorker so Hopefully, you know, she'll come right out. I mean, look at this exhaust. The pipe still looks fairly new, so. There might be something in there. Tire or move, whatever, leaning on the car here. I don't want it to end up. Dead. Oh, yeah. I, I tried digging a couple holes quite a while ago. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. Yes, I know. Oh. <laughs> you better watch that. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yes. I think I got that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that wood will slide right over. Yep. Okay. Some sort of old suitcase. Yeah, oh, that's probably. Yeah. I, I 
I think those pumps are the mother's full of her clothes. Oh yeah? Yeah, that owns the car. Okay, this tire right flat. Is it? Okay guys, we'll move on to the under the hood stuff here and see what we see on here has an oil change sticker done at 17,029 kilometers 10w40 April 11th 1985 whether or not that's the most recent oil change or not <laughs> she's probably due um, I did pull the stick last time and have a peek you know it's right at the right level and you know kind of does look like it's been in there since 1985 but definitely good enough to fire the engine on um, I need a screwdriver to pry that off I want to get a look in here and make sure none of these rats have gotten into the carburetor always good to do that before you start twirling the key don't want to lose that either okay. oh yeah there we go Wah. so far so good okay oh so hard to work when they're jammed into the barn like this <laughs> Just scooter off to the side there for now. Okay, we got a. Is this a one barrel carburetor on here? They couldn't have given us the four barrel. Looks like it may be missing one of the mounting bolts. But, uh. Yeah. Uh. At least one of the other ones is here, so. And it doesn't seem loose. I say we're good to go. Okay. Throttle works nice and freely. Well, how's our power steering? Yeah, we got good juice in there. Um, check our radiator. If I can get it open. Ah, there we go. And, oh, she's right full. And that's coolant good clean coolant great great news I guess the last thing to check here will be the transmission fluid and looks brand new levels up high enough it should probably drive out of here just banking on the wheels not being froze up I didn't, uh, I didn't bring my side post battery this time because I, I just didn't think they did this in the 70s. I don't know what year they started doing these side post batteries. But uh, sure enough, Larry said he's got one and he's gone back to the house to get it. So maybe we'll get that brake fluid reservoir open here and see what that looks like while we're waiting. There we go. What do you think? It's going to be right full? Yeah, there's something in there. There's something in the back one too. Oh, I hate brake fluid. Okay, well we'll fill that up. Jam this cat back on it. And then, uh, yeah, once Larry shows up with that battery, we'll throw her in there, twirl on the key and see what happens. I do have the key in the ignition. It's not on, but well, maybe that's yeah. The wipers. Okay, go ahead. Oh yeah, look at that. Wipers are on. Pull that off, Dad. We're gonna scratch up our window. I guess I left the key. Yeah, I did leave the ignition on. <laughs> I thought I turned it off. Okay. Yeah, I don't. Uh, 
see any fires yet, so your fans off. No. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Go ahead. Oh, look at that. Okay. Oh, nice. Hit her again. Okay. Yeah, she sounds pretty good. Yeah. Sounds pretty good. Yeah. Well, not yet. Crank her a little more. I want to build up some oil in the bearings before we hit it. Okay. Good enough. That sounds very good. Slight, slight gallop to it, but it's probably just the rings from sitting and that, that'll clear up hopefully. So, yeah, I mean, it's got HEI distributor, the ignition lights all, dash lights come on, so I'm sure it's probably getting spark. Okay, so. Dump a little down the yap here. Okay, this is the okay. time, this is it. Hit it, Pops. No way. Go again. Oh, again. <laughs> wow. Okay, maybe, maybe I can uh, get in here. Watch the fan, Larry. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, go again. Okay, well that's good enough. It runs. We can hook up. We can hook up our boat tank to some fresh gas. Or we could just dump some gas in the tank and hope it pulls on it. I don't know. I'm gonna have to investigate the. Uh, fuel system a bit here but it runs see if you can see the gas gauge there somehow how much oh it um, um, might, might have in it <laughs> um, probably works it says it's above the empty line a smidge full no oh no that's the empty okay okay well that's pr probably good that doesn't have a bunch of old rancid gas yeah, in it so, yeah 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 exactly no you can pour maybe gas in it and paint you know yeah. We got radio. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, this the fuel lines like chewed maybe right open here. I'm not sure. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's crazy. Yeah, you're probably gonna drive this thing out of here. Yeah, this fuel line's got a hole right in it. Does it? Yeah. Oh. So she's just pumping air in there, right? Yeah, so I'm going to have to, the clamp's screwed up here too. I need some probably short needle nose to get this old style clamp off. And we'll pull that hose and we'll hook up the boat tank and we'll hood. see what happens. Contact. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. Perfect. So I'm gonna climb in there and we'll see if she moves. It sounds great. It does. Yeah, let's climb through. <laughs> Do so.
Keep her straight. Yep. Okay, you're good. Not yet. You still can bring, swing the butt over this way. No, no, he needs to go straight oh, yeah, there. That's yeah. That looks good. Yeah, I think it's just good. You just send it. That's some Trinity just Valley Road stuck on the door panels, like yeah. anything else. Yeah, oh, that's here. true. Look, Look at, at this boat. Point. Holy cow. He's going to drive that home. Yeah, it's a plan. <laughs> home today. Okay. Give you a quick look at where the car was sitting. I know that's always interesting and since it was sitting on a tarp we can see the fluids that were coming out of it. We got a bit of a milkshake here under the transmission. Transmission fluid, coolant, and poop I think. And you see just how deep the holes were up at the front here. He was in there pretty good. But yeah it was nice they had it on a tarp. Alright guys, we did a good bit of cleaning on the outside. She paints, uh, paints a little dull here still, but she's coming around. Using those SOS pads is a great way to just be gentle on it and get the turds and whatnot off. So, now that she's out of the barn, I'll kind of give you the first look 
inside the rig here. Just the copious amounts of marmot crap in here is, is unreal. But looking around at the seats and the roof liner, the dash, like everything in here will clean up and look darn near brand new, except for maybe here where the marmot was chewing on this door panel a little bit. I suppose we should look in the glove box. Oh my, we have the registration. I can't believe it. Ha! 76 Impala. October 26, 2004 is the date on there. I can't believe those are in here. Owner's manual. Uh, sort of a makeup mirror. Five cents pay and save gas station money. King George Highway, North Surrey. Oh, that's, that's probably collectible. Uh, we got some matches here. Uh, cool old pen from somewhere. Yeah. Uh, grandma's old belt. More matches. That one's neat. You got some Native Americans rowing on there. That one's from Pembroke, Ontario. More gas station money. More matches. Uh, more matches. Tire valve. It's from an old battery knob. Light bulb. Yeah, that about does it in there. Well, yeah, there's not much else really in here. A couple eight tracks in the back. Oh, up on the back windowsill here. I mean, the, the amount of crap up here is this, this was his bathroom. Like, that's disgusting. Well, I think this thing is going to be officially dubbed the Stink Pala. Is it, uh, it does smell pretty awful in here. We got a couple eight tracks. Merle Haggard, the fight inside of me with Bonnie Owens and the Strangers. And we got Johnny Horton's greatest hits. Uh, yeah, a couple miscellaneous little things here. I'll dig through there. Uh, I think Larry already went through here and took out a garbage pail full of stuff a while back. So, yeah, we'll fire up the vacuum and we'll time lapse this part, I think. trunk see what we find in here definitely looks like factory spare tire perhaps so I do see some uh, marks on it here from poverty cap at one time so yeah they, they had to run this spare at one point uh, yeah piece of Interior paneling from somewhere. Better hang on to that. We got the uh, factory jack. Beauty. And the uh, bottom of the jack. Um, yeah, let's see. Random paper. Throw that in the garbage. Chunk of hose for siphoning gas, maybe. Yeah. Uh, oh, hey, license plates. Look at that. Ninety-one. Okay, so the car's hasn't been 
insured and driven since 1991. That's crazy. What do I got here? Factory little tool bag here or something. Nothing in it. getting full. This looks like it's supposed to hold the jack down or something. Uh, see, that's just the marker light. More garbage down there. Ooh. You got a rope. Let's see, I might... I'm going to try and pull this liner right out of here in one piece. Yeah, get all of this out. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Beauty. Okay. This other chunk was kind of lying here somehow. I don't know exactly how that fits. It's the original piece. Uh, let's see. Got a hold down thing for the jack. I bet the jack's supposed to sit right there. That's how it looks. Well, look at the floor. I mean, this car is like brand new, other than the smell and the turds I can believe this oh, well there really wasn't much back here I guess I'll vacuum it out and throw this stuff back in well the old Impala is running real good man she's super smooth running down the road I'm not stopping to film too much here just because She's got a, a bit of a steady drip coming out the fuel tank there, so I don't want to waste this liquid gold. Um, you know, I don't see anything leaking out the front, so we're just going to keep trucking. This thing runs so good, I'm not even opening the hood. Well, we made her to Enderby here. car is running just, just peachy. Um, it looks like that fuel leak has actually stopped, which is amazing. Uh, lets me slow down a little and document this a little better. So, yeah, so far so good under the hood here too. Our belts are looking great. I was a little worried about this heater hose. I could see where the marmots were chewing on it there, but it seems okay. Um, yeah, brakes are working great. You know, we're leaking a tiny bit of oil out of this valve cover. That's to be expected. Um, jeez, yeah. Not smoking at all. This thing really is a time capsule. Like, we got the original catalytic converter on it still with that one barrel carburetor. You know, this is straight out of the 70s fuel embargo, right? But, um, well, we got a dump truck. I'm trying to film here. Uh, yeah, you know, hopefully it'll get better mileage on the way home. It still seems to scoot down the road just fine, so I guess we'll keep on trucking. All right, well, we're about halfway down world-famous West Side Road. The Impala is still running flawlessly. It's just such a boat flying down this road. I've only got about 20 pounds of air pressure in the tires, too. Well, it just soaks up the bumps. It's so fun. I'm loving this car and uh, yeah I mean not overheating it's shifting through the gears very nicely it's not leaking fuel anymore yeah take a look at her from up here show you where I am here's the Okanagan Lake this is where I live beautiful place um, 
This lake stretches for, for miles, all the way from Penticton, all the way up uh, to Vernon, BC. You know, I live about halfway in Peachland. And yeah, it's decent. So I guess I'm gonna try and maybe mount this camera up on the hood or something. Get some footage of uh, the rest of the drive home till the battery dies on the GoPro here. I know the next stretch of road gets real windy and narrow and it's pretty fun. So we'll see if we can get some footage of that. And then, uh, yeah, when the battery dies, I guess we'll say goodbye and we'll catch you next time.